Go to definition is a very useful command in Visual Studio that a lot of people don't know is there. Go to definition is also the name of an extension that makes it easier to use the command. And it's pretty simple to understand and to use. I have a project open here in Visual Studio that has some function calls in it. Here I'm calling a constructor, for example, to make myself an object. And I can right click on the function and choose go to definition. And Visual Studio will open the appropriate file and navigate to that function, which is great. The extension simply makes that a little less effort rather than having to right click and select the option. So there's two parts to this. One is that when I hold down control, if I mouse over things that I could go to the definition of, I get this hand shaped cursor and I get this blue underline. And both of those uh, remind me that I can control click. The other thing is that if I do control click, we do the go to definition. It's very simple. It's not rocket science, but then it's easier than having to right click and choose the menu. And I thought I'd also show you a few other extensions from the same author. Noah Richards wrote go to extension and he also wrote uh, some other extensions I have installed. When you go to select an entire line, there are lots of ways to do it. One is to click on the line above, uh, use an arrow key to get to the beginning, then hold down shift and push the down arrow. And you might wonder why I know such a weird way to select a whole line with three or four key keystrokes when it's a simple mouse click. And the answer is because a fair amount of the time that I try to click in the margins, I, I miss and I accidentally set a breakpoint instead. Now, as you wall go back and forth, you do see the mouse uh, cursor changing, and you have to catch it when it's pointing this way, and that selects the whole line. If you select it when it's pointing this way, you, you get a breakpoint instead, not the effect you want. And over time, I've just been more comfortable using the multi keystroke way. So Noah wrote a really simple little extension called triple click, and if I triple click in the line, it selects the whole line. It's just a very simple a UI change, which you may be familiar with from other applications as well, and uh, it makes selecting a whole line a lot easier, a lot neater. The other thing that's already going on in this application, which you may or may not have noticed, is the way that my comments are formatted. They're in an italic font, and in fact, uh, as a matter of fact, they're not just italic, they're also a little bit smaller. And uh, if I scroll around a little bit, uh, within the system you can also see I have some doc comments in here and they are not italicized and these two behaviors uh, italicizing ordinary comments and not italicizing doc comments are both done by a little extension called italic comments and uh, these three extensions go to definition triple click and italic comments combine to just tweak my Visual Studio user interface just that little bit um, in a way that makes me feel a little more comfortable, a little more at home, and saves me from a little bit of flailing around. And I suggest you give all three of them a whirl. They're on the Visual Studio Gallery.